Hello everyone and welcome back to Yankee Dabbler where of course every day is a train show and we are the 953rd thousandth most popular channel on YouTube. We've moved up. Take that how to water your plants lady. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So anyway, we have a whole bunch of new things to showcase for you today, but we're going to start out a little bit simple because some of you might be getting back into the hobby after being away for a while, or maybe you're taking a look at maybe a summer project or maybe a late Father's Day gift. And we have a couple of different things that we want to showcase you, including some sets and some track packs. So let's take a look at what we have over here for you. So you might be thinking, I want to get started back into the hobby, but I don't know what I need. Well, Bachman has you covered here because we have a couple of different sets here uh, in the N and HO varieties that have pretty much everything you need. Let's take a look at this Roaring Rail set here, for example. Now, believe it or not, this is actually a DCC digital sound set ready to go. It comes with the, the easy command control center, um, transformer that it comes with here you got the engine that does have sound it does have a decoder you got the cars and you got the easy track system that all the bachman sets come with now this is obviously for intended for people that are looking to get into the hobby that are looking to get started maybe they as i said maybe they went away and they're coming back into it so you got everything that you would need in the box same thing goes for the echo flyer set this is a really neat set here or echo valley rather you got a steam engine with dcc and sound got a couple of cars you got the uh the easy command uh controller there these are great sets to get especially if you're looking to get involved the retail for these sets here the ho one sell for 455 but we're selling them for 289.99 and then the n scale are actually very comparable as well they retail for 450 and we're selling them for 269 so these are great sets to have if, again if you're looking to get started the idea is you are going to build onto these you could get more track you could get more uh, cars whatever you want to get and if you want to go for the gusto right off the bat we do have some various different types of track packs that you can get so for example this one here is the easy track over and under figure eight bridge we have here the n scale first railroad track pack here it even comes with a little movie in here that showcases uh some of the things that you can do with that and we have the same version in ho as well now i'm not going to bore you with a whole bunch of prices these are available on our website so all you do is just type in track pack and you'll see these things available we also have, if you don't want to go with a track pack, but you want to get some extra pieces, we do have various ones from um, Bachman. For those of you who aren't familiar, I'm sure a lot of you are, this is actually what we have on our layout here. These are called the Bachman Easy Tracks. And these tracks are like those old school tracks that you used to have, which they, they still do make, by the way. But they have a road bed and they snap in very easily put together. We kind of showcased this a little bit a while ago with the Lionel stuff around Christmas time. And the HO and N scale have the same version. You can get these uh, tracks individually or you can get them in multi packs as well. And again, N scale has the same exact thing. A little bit trickier with N scale because a little bit smaller. Yeah. And then, of course, I have various different types of figure eights, switches, crossovers, whatever you want. So, again, all these prices are on our website. So, all you do is just type in Bachman Easy Track, type in uh, Track Packs, and you'll see all these things ready to go here, all right? So, again, if you're looking to get back into the hobby or you're looking to get started, maybe even for that youngster that you think is just at the right age and you want to get them up and running with railroading, all aboard for some fun here because I know you're going to have a good time. Stick with the theme of getting back into the hobby. Some of you want, might want some literature to read. Well, I got a whole bunch of different magazines that we actually just put on our website. Now, let's take a look at a couple of them right here. So, for example, for those of you who are looking to get started into the hobby, we got a couple of books here from Model Railroader. We have uh, Getting Started in Model Railroading. And, of course, we had the Beginner Guide to Locomotives and Rolling Stock. So that is some good reading there. So if you're looking to get started, perhaps these are some good ones to go with. If you're looking to get started with maybe a track plan here, I have a whole bunch of different track planning books here, including 45 original track plans. I think, Engineer Hall, you actually use every single one of these and put them together, right? I did. I yeah. I got. That's good stuff. All right. Then I have 101 more track plan ideas. Did you use those too? I used it too. Yeah. Yeah. So you're up to 150 someone. All right. We got planning your model railroader. All right. For our Lionel people, we got some track plans for Lionel Fast Track. And then over here, I have basic model railroading bench work. So if you're looking to get some tips on your bench work, 
this might be what you want to go with. And then for the more advanced modelers there, we got a couple of different ones here, including basic DCC wiring for your model railroad. We talk about DCC and putting decoders into your engines, but you might not know how to do it. We'll get one of these books that will teach you how to do it. How to kit bash structures. I know a lot of you like to build some uh, different things. So a couple of tips on how to kit bash some things. And then finally, basic painting and watering for model railroaders. So I have a whole bunch of different ones, uh, magazines that you can see that I have on our website, plus more. So if you're looking to get started with some literature, type in a couple of magazines on our website and see what you could get. It's perfect uh, reading material. I know when I'm on the beach, this is what I'm reading. And I don't care how much my wife says, that's weird. So come to Yankee Dabbler and get these on your layout today. For all you end scalers out there, you might be looking at for some more rolling stock to pull. Well, I got a couple of cars for you to choose from here. Actually, I got 35 different cars for you to choose from because that's how many different numbers I have. Check out these end scale Trinity Hopper cars that we have from Atlas. And these are cool looking cars here. I only took out a couple of them because the changes to these cars are very minor, but... Yeah, I have a different row numbers and I had different row names for the various different railroads to pull these things. Now, again, a lot of people like to showcase what they see on the railroad today. And these are cars that you definitely see on the track going today. These are really nicely detailed cars. As a matter of fact, I like the fact that I even have some yellow handrails there. I got these separately applied etched detailing here with the walkways there. These are really nice looking cars. And again, if you're an end scaler, you want a little bit more modern uh, look for your layout. I think these cars are really good. Again, I have 35 different ones of these. So you get a nice long train. And for a really reasonable price because these cars retail for $39.95, but we're selling them here in Yankee Dabbler for $27. 96 okay so you get a whole bunch of these different cars on here with different row names with different row numbers get a couple of your engines pulling these and you will be the hit of the end scale area so come in the yankee dabbler and get these on your rails today for our air show people you might be thinking i need some rolling stock too and you definitely need board box cars i'm telling you you need them buy them check out these guys here these are the 50 foot berwick box cars here from atlas and these are cool looking cars here i got a couple of different unique road names here i got the nevada northern railway i have the chicago and northwestern i have the dt and i and now perhaps the most striking of all of them is the ndm that is a really cool looking car here i like the fact that even the trucks are blue that's awesome that's a cool looking car so i mean in my opinion I think if you have trains that have a lot of color in them, I think that really does a lot. I'm gonna take a look at this one here for a little closer inspection. These are really nicely detailed there. As you can see, the different types of writing, the different types of numbers that are put on here, the detailing here. These do have metal wheels. The roofs look great. I mean, this is just a cool looking car here. And again, how many variations of a box car can you have? Well, I think if you get these 50 foot Berwick cars, I think these are a little bit different than maybe some of the other cars that you have on your layout. Now, these retail for $37.95, but we're selling them here for Yan at Yankee Dabbler for $27.99. So once again, it's a great deal to get on your layout. So get a bunch of these different box cars here. I just like this blue one. I think that's really cool. So even the ladies will like this one too. My wife always likes the ones that have more colors. So if you're looking for a train, a box car to get on your layout, check these out. Come in Yankee Dabbler and pick them up today. Going back to end scale land, I'm sure there are some people out there that want some containers to either put in their well cars or maybe put in their ship and depot here. And I have these ones from the Jacksonville Terminal Company that are really neat. I have a whole bunch of them. We're going to take a look at them. So the first one I have up here is the CCNI. Check out that bad boy there. That's looking really cool. I have here the K-Line. Everyone likes K-Line. All right. I got the Hanjin. I really, really like if you take a look at here, you see the detailing of these really well. That looks great here. Oh, they do look nice. Then I have here the P&O. Better than the P-U. <laughs> <All right. laughs> and then I have here the M-O-L. The mall. And let's see if I have any other different ones here. Oh, I do. I have one more here. I have the Tritons. Uh, here we are here. So I have a whole bunch of these different 40-foot high-Q containers. And the really neat thing about these is, you know, you don't really see a whole bunch of them in N scale. So I really like these N scales from the Jacksonville ter um, Terminal here. So you can see I have a whole bunch of uh, different ones here. I can mix them up. I can do whatever I want with these things on my railroad. After all, you are in control. These uh, containers 
sell for $29.95, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $21.99. That's a good deal to get on these. You get two different containers per pack here. And I really think, again, if you have those N-scale well cars here, you want to put some of these in there. I think they're going to really look nice. So come into Yankee Dabbler and get these in your well cars or on that shipping terminal before somebody else does. You also might be looking for some speakers to be putting into your trains as well. We're kind of all over the place today. Well, I have here some different speakers here from Bowser. As you can see here, I have some different size ones here. I got the 1291 and the 1294, depending on the dimensions of what locomotive you're trying to put these in here. I know a lot of us are really good at putting the speakers and sounds into our locomotives, so these might be a part that you're looking for that will fit into your project perfectly. Now, both of them retail for $17.95 while we sell them here at Yankee Dabbler for $14.36. Great deal to get on these speakers here. So if you're looking to get that project started, maybe you even want to get that book there about how to wire up DCC and sound for yourself. We got everything you need to get covered here at Yankee Dabbler. So get cracking. So I know some of you may be looking for a rather inexpensive locomotive to put on your diesel roster, and I have this GP7 from Walther's, part of their Proto 2000 line, that I think you're really going to like. Check out this engine here. This is engine number 475 at the Cotton Belt of Chicago, and this is a great looking diesel locomotive, especially if you want something that has a lot of detail and the price is just right. Now, as you can see here, I have the separately applied grab irons here. I have the lift rings actually on top of this diesel locomotive up here. There's actually a lot of detailing happening here. And again, the price is just right. Well, what is that price? Well, this engine retails for $2.99, but we're selling it for $149.99. That's right, we're selling it for half price here. We're passing the savings on to you, and this is a great look at diesel locomotive. So let's start her up, shall we? Let's hear what the horn sounds like. Let's hear the bell naturally. I really like the bell here. Love that sound. And let's take her out for a spin, shall we? Hey, we got little figures in here in the locomotive cab. That's pretty cool. All aboard. Highball. Now arriving on the Buy Me Now track. Train number 475. Buy me now. So that is a great look at diesel locomotive. If you're looking for something that, again, is a high quality piece, but is uh, fits the bill, I think that diesel locomotive is a great opportunity for you. Again, we're selling it for $149.99. Come in Yankee Dabble, get that engine on your layout before it's gone and you're regretting your decision. So on our last show, someone actually commented that they wish that we did more steam locomotives. Well, believe it or not, I actually am a steam fan, so whenever I have the opportunity to showcase a steam engine, I like to do so, just like I have here with this Broadway Limited Brass Hybrid. Check out this E1484 number 700 from the Spokane, Portland, and Seattle Railroad. 
Now, the interesting thing about this locomotive here is it is a brass hybrid. So even though it does have some metal parts here and plastic parts, it has some separately applied brass detailing, which makes this an incredibly finely detailed locomotive. Just taking a look at this thing, I am in pure awe of the beauty of this thing here. And I'm not trying to be silly here because this engine is just gorgeous. I see set from time to time, especially dealing with weather cars here. We have some cab figurines inside of the cab there, as well as I even have the curtains there that would keep the weather and the elements out of the cab here i have all the different separately applied detailing here including the whistle here i got a bell here i got all the different rivets all the different safety valves everything that you want i mean this engine is this gorgeous looking and again it is um you know a brass hybrid piece so of course it's got to be a little pricey here these things actually retail for 7.99.99 we're selling it here for 7.29 99 of course you can throw on that engineer hall discount get a five percent discount but if you're a steam person if you want the top of the line the best of the best this is a great looking engine but you know what this looking at it doesn't sell it you have to hear it in action so all aboard all right so before i get this thing started if you take a look at the cab it's actually illuminated right now so the little figurines can see how to operate the locomotive pretty cool and if you take a look at the back of the locomotive and the tender I actually do have some rear trailing truck uh, trailing lights there as well so really cool all aboard shall we all right as you can see the whistle uh, the smoke is already starting to smoke here here is the whistle that's powerful here's the bell that's a unique bell and all aboard Let's get it wrapped up, shall we? All aboard. Now arriving on track number one, train number 700. I'm so pretty. Oh, so pretty. Wow, that's a great look at steam engine. Again, I'm a big steam fan. And that is just an awesome looking engine. I could literally play with this thing for hours. Now, again, this thing retails for $799.99, and it seems like a lot, and it is, but you got a whole bunch of different detailing there. It is part of the Broadway Limited Brass Hybrid Series, so you got a lot of separately applied parts there, but we're selling it here at Yankee Devil for $729.99. Oh, actually, I have three other different uh, paint schemes that go along with that engine as well. The real 700 is actually located up in Portland, Oregon. They have the, uh, hopefully, running real soon in tandem with the 4449, so if you're interested in checking out the real 700 make sure you check that out online but if you've seen the 700 operate before or plan to in the future i want to mount of something that you're going to see come get it before once again it's gone and you missed out all right well i hope you're enjoying everything that we've you've seen so far uh-oh we just got a breaking news bulletin that host of the yankee dabbler show is really cute i know right <laughs>
All right, we got a real bulletin. Ready? We have here, fresh off the presses, this brand new Kato P42 Amtrak Genesis diesel locomotive here. Check out this bad boy right here. And this is, of course, the 50th anniversary celebration that Amtrak had last year. 2021 was the 50th anniversary of Amtrak and to celebrate they actually decorated a whole bunch of these diesel locomotives here in various different paint schemes and of course this one was actually special because believe it or not this is actually supposed to be the one commemorating President Joe Biden as it was the number 46 and this is uh, Joe Biden being the 46th president and of course we all know him as Amtrak Joe. Now the neat thing that is about these engines is we have them in the regular DC version which they retail for $215 and we're selling them for $172.99 However, this particular one, we actually have one of our techs install a whole bunch of different things, including lock sound. We have ditch lights and we have marker lights programmed into this engine as well. You're going to be the first ones to hear it. So all aboard. All right. As you can see here, we have some dish lights. We have some marker lights happening on this locomotive as well. Here's the horn. Here's the bell. And away we go. So this is a great look at diesel locomotive and especially if you want to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the Amtrak you should get one of these engines on your lap. Now I want to do a little disclaimer because you know a lot of times what happens is sometimes you will accidentally put a DC locomotive on the DCC track. With the cattle engine I want to give you a little disclaimer that if you put that one on a DCC track and it's a DC locomotive you will instantaneously burn out that motor. So make sure that if you're getting a DC locomotive of the Kato P42 that you make sure that you're running it on a DC only uh, track all right. Now the DCC locomotive retails for $489.99 but we're selling the here Yankee Dabbler for $399.99. We ourselves have did all the uh, necessarily detailing in here in order to make this engine uh, uh, state of the art with the marker lights, the ditch lights, and the sound here. We actually had to do a couple of things or to fit those things into this engine here. But I think this is a really cool looking engine. Of course, unfortunately, these engines are being replaced rather soon with those brand new Charger locomotives that we have showcased on this show before. So if you want to preserve some of Amtrak's history, and especially the 50th anniversary of Amtrak, come to Yankee Dabbler and get these on your rails today. All right, well, I want to thank you very much for watching our show, What's New Here at Yankee Dabbler, where, of course, every day is a train show. Hopefully, you found something that piqued your interest, whether it was a rather inexpensive GP7 or, of course, that Broadway Limited number 700. That is a great-looking engine. Of course, they have some of the literature that we looked at, as well as the starter sets. But, of course, if nothing piqued your interest here, well, make sure you check out our website to see what will uh, pique your interest, because there are a whole bunch of different things involving rolling stocks, switches, tracks, engines, whatever you want, is found on our website. If you're not already subscribed to our engineer hall youtube page i don't know what you're doing it's very simple all you do is you take your mouse right you put your hand on your mouse and you hover the cursor over the button that says subscribe and you click it and it subscribes you it's really cool so check this out right hand mouse button click subscribe it's so easy an infant can do it so i don't know what you're waiting for you get caught up on all the uh, great things that are uh, on the engineer hall youtube page including he took out he did really something really neat he took out all the water of a swimming pool and installed a giant rail yard how's your wife feel about that oh you don't want to know yeah well you know what you can either be cool this summer or you can just be cool all the time with a rail yard so i think you made the right decision there we're going to conclude this week's video with our rail fan video we're going to go back to the Strasbourg Railroad 
to take a look at the Queen of Steam herself, the number 611, going down the tracks in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Now, if you excuse me, I got to get caught up on my summer reading. As I say, I go to the beach. I usually get caught up on what's new in the industry. So, all aboard. Ah, uh, jeez. I got one of those foreign language versions again. I can never understand these. Oh, boy. Oh! Oh, that's much better. Oh, okay. I recommend it now. Hey, take care. What's a wire? That's interesting. Electricity? Yeah, boy, this is a little advanced for me.